Hello and welcome to the Scrimba podcast. This is the show where we speak to industry experts and recently hired developers about how to learn to code and land your dream role in tech. I'm recording this quick episode to let you know that season one of the Scrimba podcast has now concluded. If you're new here, hello, my name is Alex Booker and I'm the host of season one. While you wait for season two and a new host, I highly recommend you explore the archive and listen to episodes that look interesting to you. This isn't like the news where if it's not fresh, it's stale. The Scrimba podcast archive is more like a book or an encyclopedia even of carefully created insights and thoughtful conversations that will inspire you and move you closer to your career goals. If you're already a Scrimba podcast listener, maybe a long time listener, well, I have more of an emotional message for you. Mostly a heartfelt thank you. We've recorded 169 episodes over a couple of years, and the impact is so much more than I ever really could have imagined. Every week, people looking forward to the episodes sharing how inspiring they found it and we created this just incredible cycle where people would listen to the show get actionable ideas about how to stand out and get a job they would get a job and then they would of course be motivated to come on the podcast and pay it forward and share their story citing what they used to find success and then adding their own insights and perspectives as well this has been such a privilege in my career And while I'm always very reluctant to self-indulge and talk about myself on this show, I think that it is relevant because on this show we talk about our careers and how to move forward. I found such an amazing alignment with this project and this season and this show because I'm a self-taught developer and I felt all the stress and difficulty and I experienced all the challenges myself and I know how lonely and scary it can feel when you make a bet on yourself that takes a long time to pay off. The first few weeks are exciting, maybe the first few months you're optimistic, but as things get on and you know you face challenges, it's easy to start to doubt yourself. And so the whole idea of this podcast above all else was to upload very consistently every week because you could rely on having a motivational voice, you could hear success stories, you probably have the education part locked in, hopefully you're using Scrimba in the career path or some curriculum that optimizes your learning. That part, there's a lot of resources out there, but it was always the case that you need to sustain your activity for a long time. And that's more of like an emotional or motivational issue that I really wanted to help with on the show, while also bringing you insights that you didn't necessarily learn. I remember when I was learning to code, everybody was like, just make a resume, apply for jobs, you'll get some interviews, prepare for the interviews. But because I didn't have that degree, and at the time it mattered more, honestly, than it does today, but nevertheless, it's still challenging to get your foot in the door when you're doing the same thing as everybody else. And on this show, we got to share and learn so many interesting ways to stand out, come in through the side door potentially, how to leverage things like relationships and networking. I also strongly feel that when you listen to a show like this every week, you start to kind of absorb the vocabulary. You kind of learn a little bit about how people in tech talk. You learn a little bit about how people in tech think. And even though you might not consciously be able to say, okay, I use this to achieve that result, I think it does change you over time and make you more likely to be successful. And I'm just so proud and happy about the impact that we've had in helping people learn to code. The show has also taught me so many important lessons in my own career. I've always been a smooth talker and a segue sage, but I used to perhaps not value long-term relationships as much. And I think through the show, I've made so many friends. We've had repeat guests, you know, we've got deep. It's been such an amazing experience getting to sit down every week and have very intentional and open conversations with people. And it's inspired me to be more open as well. I've also practiced consistency, even when things were really rough in my life for a period. You know, doing this show every week, it was like a staple for many, 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 many months for me and for Jan, the producer of this show. And 
I kind of learned in the past that I would start some projects, they would have some sign of success, but then maybe the novelty would wear off and I would put it down. And I always regretted that mistake in the past because it meant that I never saw it through long enough for it to be really successful. And so when I saw this show taking off and it wasn't by any means an immediate success, there were definitely some challenges in the early days. But when it started to reach traction, I realized based on my experience that this is the time to really double down and practice this show very consistently. And I'm so happy I did because we saw this kind of compounding effect where every month more and more people would listen because there are more episodes in the archive and because people come to count on us reliably uploading. And I wanted to share that because I think it's a lesson I will apply to any project in the future and maybe you can as well. I'm so grateful to Scrimba. Like Scrimba is a business, it's a platform, but more than all of that, it's a collection of smart, kind and driven people. They truly are the best, not just in their ability and intelligence and drive to use their ability and intelligence, but their nature. These folks really care about you and your success as a student learning to code and their actions back it up. I'm really happy you're here in the Scrimba universe and hopefully you're using the platform to learn and practice coding as well. And of course, I want to say a big thank you to Jan Arsenovic. Jan, maybe you've heard him speak occasionally in the mid-roll or the outro or occasionally doing introductions when I was away or not well. We lovingly call him Jan the producer, but he's been my partner for a long time on this project and this podcast and it would definitely not be possible without him. I know that if I was a long-time listener of a show and it was ending in this way, I'd be a little bit curious why. Also, you're not going insane. We've never used the label season one historically. That's new taxonomy and I'll explain that a little bit in a second. But just to touch on briefly why the show is ending. You know, I used to work at Scrimba full-time for a couple of years where I started the podcast and worked on many other projects. At some point, I moved on to another startup and I continued to host the podcast part-time recording on weekends mostly it's been challenging to sustain all of these things at the same time while also going through some like personal stuff and so i think now is the right time to reprioritize and reshift my focus it was not an easy decision by any means this podcast has been so important for me as a way to like create a positive change in the world i want to see i really believe in like the power of learning to code for social mobility and you know what it can do for your life Calling everything up until now season one is a good way to tie the knots on this adventure so far while also leaving a path for season two, which you can most definitely look forward to. Calling the season one is also a good way to like categorize the insights. Season two, we might change the angle a little bit, but season one is all about learning to code and how to break into tech. And yeah, as I say, do not unsubscribe. There's more coming and there's still a ton of value in the archive since we produced really high quality episodes intentionally to stand the test of time. And so thank you very much for listening. I'm your host of season one, Alex Booker. This is the Scrimba podcast. Thank you again.